Okay, 7 through 13. It says, but to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave his gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean, except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. So Paul has just been talking about the unity of the church and now he's going to talk about the diversity of the church. Okay? Tough question here. What must the church be united in? Okay, Christ. Okay, faith in Jesus. Belief. Okay. Okay, that this is the Word of God. Okay. Baptism. No, you've all you've all hit it, I think. I mean, there are certain essentials that the church must be united in. Okay? Uh, one of those essentials is what is the mission and purpose of the church? Okay, to seek and save the lost, to make disciples, right? Yeah. Okay, to glorify Christ in some aspects of it. So, there are things the church must be united in. Not, not, not <laughs> another tough question. Where is diversity allowed in the church? Um, what is God's favorite style of music? I got no idea. I got no idea what his favorite type of music is. He might like drums really loud. He might love Christian rap. <laughs> He might, he might love dirges. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? So we can have a diversity of, of musical tastes. Right? Uh, what version of the Bible is God's favorite version? Who knows? <laughs> right? Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I think a couple guys hit it. The one, that, the one that's being read. Okay? Okay? Um, is it okay for there to be Democrats and Republicans and Libertarians in the church? Yeah, yeah. That's part of the diversity. That can be part of the diversity of the church, right? I mean, yeah, old and young, rich and poor. It's what we talked about early on in Ephesians chapter 2, that our primary identity must be Jesus. And if that's your primary identity, and that's my primary identity, then we're going to be united. Everything else about our lives might be completely different, but all of that is in the background, because our primary identity is Jesus. So, what must the church be united in? Certain essentials. The mission. What, where is diversity allowed in the church? And pretty much everything else, right? Pretty much everything else. Where is diversity necessary in the church? Yes. The biblical word would be gifts, right? We all have different gifts to serve in the church. And that's what he's talking about here with this diversity, okay?